All right, the first match that we're going to talk about on the uh, full show preview for Money in the Bank 2018 is going to be Big Kaz going up against Daniel Bryan. Um, these guys had a match uh, back at uh, Backlash um, that led to basically a small feud where it looked like Daniel Bryan was going to get added uh, to the Money in the Bank uh, ladder match, but uh, you know Brian uh, was unable uh, to to get the win to to put himself into the match, and at the same time, uh, Kaz came down with an injury, um, which led to Daniel Bryan having another match uh, to see if he was going to be able to get in against uh, Samoa Joe. Everything did not work out uh, to Daniel Bryan's yes, yes, yes uh, uh, plans. Uh, but Big Cass basically explained that the injury was a rouge. Uh, and I think it was just a way to sort of get into the mind of Daniel Bryan before he smashed him up uh, with the crutch. Uh, and uh, Big Cass versus Daniel Bryan is now added to the Money in the Bank thing. If you can remember back to Backlash last month, only a month ago, Daniel Bryan made Big Cass tap out right there in the middle of the ring. Uh, Big Cass was able to get up after the match, and he beat up Daniel Bryan uh, for his efforts to make it look like even though he you know, he lost the battle, he was able to win the war. Um, but since then, Daniel Bryan has, has basically been counting down the days till he could get Big Cass back in the ring again and basically saying that if he wants another shot at him, uh, he's going to take him. Uh, Big Cass is now taken... Kevin Nash's gimmick uh, from TNA, if you can remember back, uh, Big Kaz, I'm sorry, uh, Kevin Nash was in TNA and he had a feud where he was going up against the X Division guys where he was actually lending his name to them trying to help make them stars um, by, by having them get in the ring with him. Uh, I think they built up that either Alex Shelley or um, I think somebody was going to have a match against Kevin Nash and then Kevin Nash you know, faked an injury and ended up no showing the pay-per-view or something like that. And then, of course, in TNA fashion, he never got in trouble. But the big line that he was saying the whole time, uh, Big Kaz said on SmackDown, is that a, a good big man will always beat a good little man because of the size difference. Um, seeing how this is a rematch, I would not be surprised that Big Kaz finds a way to beat Daniel Bryan in this match. I don't think this is a match that I think anybody really wants to see. I see this sort of as a waste of Daniel Bryan's talent, but they're not going to be putting Daniel Bryan in the main event. I, I think that it's sort of um, protecting him, not being in the latter match. Um, not every match is going to be the, the main event uh, for Daniel Bryan from here on out. You know, for them to even put the belt on him or put him in the main event is, is going to take a lot of trust. And it's a lot like Finn Balor coming back from that injury, even though they put the championship on him right away. They haven't wanted to put him there because sometimes people have injuries and, and sometimes people's injuries are small and sometimes they're really big like Daniel Bryan's. And they don't want to put them in the risk of putting the championship on somebody and then it ended up where he's not able to defend it. Um, so I'm not looking for a great match out of Big Kaz and Daniel Bryan. I am looking that uh, Kaz is going to get the victory. And then we'll have a dreadful third match um, to pay off to see who actually wins this feud. And that is the worst parking job by anybody backing into a spot of all time that I'm looking at. Uh, there's no way that they're going to be able to fix that without pulling all the way out. So, no, they're not even going to try. Fuck it. I'm just parking right in the middle of two spots. I'm probably I'm going into State Farm, and I got a lot of business in there, and I am not don't have to worry about reparking my car. What a fucking bitch. 